So I'm up here in Maine doing the filming locations to the 1989 classic Pet Cemetery, And what better place to start than Stephen King's house. Check that out. Bet you've never seen a gate like that before. So getting on to the first location. So this is Lewis Creed's house where the majority of the movie takes place and it looks pretty much the same. Across the street was Judd's house and the interesting thing about that is this is not the house that was used. They actually built a, like a facade. They built the structure on top of the house. And so that way when they burned it in the movie, it didn't destroy that house. So that is not even used. I'm Lewis Creed. And Judd Cradle. I live just across the road. You want to watch out for that road. Them damn trucks go back and forth all day and most of the night. And they were sitting right there in the picnic table. So when they were flying the kite, it was right here. And the, as you can see, the road is right here. And this is right where the truck comes. Don't let him go on the road, Lewis. Get him, Lewis! Get the baby! And unfortunately, Gage gets hit by that truck and killed, and we are introduced to the red, the red scary truck. So this is where that tree used to be that the little girl Ellie was swinging on. I believe it was right here. So when she was swinging back and forth, you could see the path, which was right here. And the camera was kind of doing one of these. There's a path over there. Do you know where it goes? Oh. Yeah, that's a good story. A good walk. I'll take you up there sometime. I'll tell you the story, too. Mommy, Daddy, come on, let's go! We're coming! All set? Let's get on with it. So once you get down here, down the bottom of the hill, there is some, some trees, but then it just goes to a river. And as pretty as that is, unfortunately, there's no pet cemetery. So you may be surprised to know or not that there actually isn't a pet cemetery down in this woods. The trail came down and then it just ended and the pet cemetery is in a different town. Uh, so I'm going to take you there right now. There's the place. What's it say, mommy? It says pet cemetery, honey. It's misspelled, but that's what it says. I told you it's a bad road, Lois. Let's go. So this is the original location to the pet cemetery. Now, you have to bear with me, it's been a long time, so there, and there's really nothing left, but this is it. This oval-shaped area is all that's left of the pet cemetery. So the center would have been right here, which means this is right where Spot would have been buried, which was Judd's dog. That's where I buried my dog, Spot when he died of old age in 1924. So the area that they climb over, that huge pile of brush, was right here. Now how I can tell is you can still line up the piles of rocks 
they're still here. So for instance, these piles of rocks right here are in one of the shots. They climb over it right here. The place we're going is on the other side of that. I've climbed it a time or two before. I know all the places to step. So Judd and Lewis climb over that brush, continuing on to the Micmac burial ground. And that's actually made up of three different locations. So I'm going to take you to all three of them right now. Not much farther now. Judd, what's that? So this is the first of three locations that make up the Micmac Trail. And things have changed here a little bit. There were no stairs in the movie, but we are inside beautiful Acadia National Park. And to make things easier for hikers, they changed this probably relatively treacherous trail uh, to steps just to uh, help people to get up to the top. It's obvious that they chose this area because of the creepy looking tree roots. And while most of the bigger ones have been removed, there are still some that exist right alongside the stairs. So now we're on to the second location. Keep saying that. This time I mean it. All right, this is the second location. This is a quarry, an old quarry. Look at that view. So funny enough, walking around this abandoned quarry, doing the pet cemetery filming locations, I come across some animal bones. Pretty ironic. So after Judd and Lewis leave this area, they continue up to the Micmac burial ground, and that's where we're headed right now. What is this place? This was their burial ground. Whose burial ground? Micmac Indians. I brought you here to bury Ellen's cat. Why, for God's sake? I said, why, Judd? I had my reasons. So this is the Micmac burial ground. This is where Judd initially takes Lewis, and then he ends up burying Gage. When they come up the hill, they pass the giant rock, which is right there, that huge rock over there. There's a quick scene of Judd lighting a cigarette. You can see the giant rock in the shot and you can see that lake way off in the distance. But this is it. <laughs> so Lewis tries to dig into the ground with his pick and finds out that it's completely solid. And it is true, it's, it's all rock up here. It's like a weird, natural, circular kind of rock. And this is by far some of the oddest land I've ever seen. I have no idea why this is like this. this. These piles could have been made for the movie, and maybe some of them are still here. But as you walk up here on a trail, there's giant rocks and piles of boulder all over the place. It is the weirdest land. 
see why they chose this area for the uh, for the burial ground. And it's it's up high and it's extremely windy up here. Pretty cool place. All right, so this is the Ellsworth City Hall, and this is where, this is the makeshift uh, hospital, and um, they bring in Victor, who was hit by the truck, bring him up these stairs. So they're bringing him up these stairs, and they're telling the nurses that he got hit by a truck. They come through here, and this is actually the police station here, too. So this is it. This is the, this is the makeshift um, hospital room that they bring them. So that's really it. I'm just trying to be quiet in here because it's, it's, it's the city hall. This is what it looks like now. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and comfort you and lift you up and give you peace. Amen. Amen. When Stephen King is playing the priest, the service is being held right here. You can see this white uh, grave with the flat top. You can see this cross. You can see some of the taller crosses way off in the distance. Everything is right here. And after the service, Judd and Lewis stand up and they start walking right through here. And they walk right up to the cars. The Hursts and everyone's cars are parked right up here on this road. And this is where they have a conversation. Oh, Missy. I don't know why God would take someone like her. She'd still have a bunch of years left in front of her, and that's an old fart like me just go on and on. My father used to have a saying, Judd. God sees the truth, but waits. Just on the side of the cemetery, uh, Lewis pulls up in the station wagon, parks right next to this fence, throws his bag of tools and shovels over. The next scene is just up the hill. So right here, the ground is all wet, but this is where Lewis is sitting and looking over Gage's grave, contemplating digging him up and burying him in the Micmac burial ground. Remember, Doc, the barrier was not meant to be crossed. The ground is sour. So this is where the trucks come out of. Uh, this is some sort of a refinery plant. You can see these structures in the background. It comes right out of this gated area, makes a right, goes down to the road, and then you see the next shot. Let him go. 
Stephen King's Pet Cemetery movie locations video would not be complete without the truck. Here you go. This is the actual truck from the movie stored away in this old abandoned junkyard. So yeah, this is the shot when he's driving and he's listening to the Ramones. Oh, there's actually a plaque custom built for Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. Way up in northern Maine. I don't know how long this has been sitting here, but this, this is it, the old Peterbilt. So this incredible find here ends my filming locations video for Pet Cemetery. Hope you loved it. It was amazing, especially finding this truck. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.